Hi everybody, welcome to Cheapskate Confessions. Today I am going to show you how to refill these Bath and Body Works foaming hand soaps. Now, you can do it with other brands and you can use it with other soaps. I just really like the Bath and Body Works products, so that's what I'm going to use. I bought all my products on clearance. Um, it costs about you paid full price it costs about six dollars to get one of these if you're buying a store brand like at Walmart I'm gonna say it'd be about three dollars to get a refill for it so this is considerably cheaper what I've done here is I have rinsed this container out really good and I filled it up to the S on the Bath and Body Works on the side and in this one it is a Mediterranean lemon and I'm going to refill it with Signature Vanilla. It's a lemon vanilla. And you don't fill it up to the top. And you rinse the container really well ahead of time because you need to have some space to put the lid on. That's going to be tons. Now it's pretty forgiving. If you don't put in enough soap, Use it a few times till you get the liquid down, and then you can do more. Before I did that, I made sure to clean up this lid. That include getting some gunk out of here. You can use the end of a comb, you can use a toothpick. You rinse it under hot water to get rid of it. Once when I refilled it, I made a mistake. I used the beaded shower gel, and it's got a bead stuck in there. I just can't get it out, so it's going to have to stay. I'm not going to mess with it. And now this is why you leave some space because when you put this on the level comes up. Oop, went over a bit. That's okay. It's all watery at the top. It's not such a big deal. You know I don't always use paper towel. I go through a roll every few months. Shake it up. Creamy body washes will not work as good. Beaded body washes, they will not work as good. It, I find they work best with the clears. And now you have that watery consistency that is in this type of soap. Now, it's going to take a bit for it to come out in the foam. I need more. I don't have enough in there. I have to rinse my hands. Don't need much more. Okay, so when you refill it, try the bottom of the S instead and put in more soap. You don't want to be so cheap. <laughs> you do want to use some soap to clean your hands. Here we go. Now if there's only enough left for a partial refill next time, that's what I'll do as a partial. So I can use everything up. I get bubbles. Just wipe it off, give it a shake. take a couple times to get it to the point where it'll start coming out with the new stuff again. It's already a nice big foam. Okay, my other tip is, just have to rinse this off, don't let it get too foamy. You're not doing yourself a favor if it gets too strong. This is fine, and this one's fine. This is pear and fig. I filled it with a banana, or the vanilla bean. Noel, and it's plenty thick. And that works really well too. It doesn't seem to matter what flavor. I just get ones I like when they're on clearance. I usually hit them at the semi-annual clearance. Now, that being said, if you use coupons and buy 
containers of shower gel or soap uh, refills that are the thicker ones and you, you wait for a sale, you can get them for so cheap and you could be spending five to ten cents for a refill. So that is possible. It's just not what I'm doing this time. <laughs> I really like this product, so that's why I'm going with it. And it keeps it affordable at 50 cents. Works out to about 50 cents per refill, which is crazy cheap for Bath & Body Works product. Thanks for tuning in. I will have more cheapo deals coming up and more ways I confess. So if you ever use soap at my house, you're at least getting a good quality soap. May not be what's on the package, but, <laughs> but it is a good quality soap. If you have any soap extending, hand soap extending, cheapo ideas, confess in the bottom. Let us know about them. We'll see if we can find ways to save money on hand soap. Thanks for tuning in. I have lots more tips, tricks, ideas I tried, some that work, some that don't, some that are crazy. And some that are flat out questionable. <laughs> so keep tuning in and we'll, you can find out some of the things I do to save some money.